Well, hello everybody and welcome one more time to the Friday Pop Dog Live. So, uh, no comments yet, so either there's a bit of a, a delay or it's, um, uh, oh no, here we go, somebody's up there already, right, in fact I'm going to move that camera just a little bit upwards because uh, I'm cutting off the top of my head a little bit, so, uh, my head. Say, say hello Jason. Hello Jason, my head has been dissected. Yeah, how about that? That is, is yeah, it's better. Go. That's much right. better. God, look at that, perfect. Right, hello everybody, so um, hopefully today no hiccups, no power cuts, no... <laughs> Sorry. Surges or anything like that, and um, yeah, all should be good today. So, um, what have we got planned for them? Uh, lots of things. Um, well, I say lots of things. Lots of, not lots of things, but good things. Okay. So well, um, I've left this all to you. This week. you I have, have yeah. No idea what's going uh, on. So uh, Alex is here, by the way. Alex will be joining us a little later on. Um, he's uh, currently over there. Yeah. So, so we're looking at um, well, what I think is a brilliant, brilliant new release from John Allen. Uh, it's already on our website. We've got uh, a couple of the new Daryl legacy releases as well and um yeah a really really nice children's uh almost like a production box nice oh, organic okay. production box as well that will keep who happy yeah alex is talking about a, a new book and uh with... that will keep who happy oh uh, mr cooley of course mm. <laughs> as well as other other children's entertainers um but it's not well we'll talk about it later but it's not just for kids but it's just a nice uh, production box. We'll yeah, talk more okay. about it later. Uh, Alex has got a book, and we've got some things that are coming into stock that might help a few people out, like our uh, these. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so we we'll, we'll have got one of those ready. We don't have one of those ready because we haven't got one of those ready. But we can go and get one that's not ready and show them. Okay. We can, we can send Alex down later to do that. Fine. So, um, well, um, if you haven't joined us for live before, guys, um, this is your chance to ask us any questions. We will try to help you the best we can. Uh, we're more than happy to try and open up a product if there's anything you want to look at. Uh, we can dem certain things, but not everything. There's just too many products here in the, in the shop to dem. Uh, but yeah, it's just basically a hangout between us guys and you guys, and we'll show you a few things and uh, see how the whole thing goes. Mm. We? We've also so, got Luke, of course, our, our, um, our foreign correspondent. Foreign correspondent, <laughs> who's uh, over in Japan uh, visiting Tenyo with, yeah, uh, with a new yeah, release. Of course. So we'll visit Luke at some point. So, uh, right, who's on? So, uh, Dan Slater, there he says, all hail Prop Dog. Um, uh, and all hail to Dan Slater. Um, Otter's there, hello Otter, as always. Uh, good to see you there, my friend. Um, Finley's there, hey uh, Finley, how are you? Uh, all the regulars. Michael, Michael Brimmer's there, Eddie Grant's afternoon, lads. Uh, Frank Valenti says, uh, hey now, uh, you're an arrow behind there, Frank. So, um, we're ahead. Yeah, I don't, sort can't of work out. out. <laughs> yeah, ahead Tom Cockers there, he says, good afternoon, gents. Thank you for mine, yours, and mystery package look forward to performing a routine with it soon in my show and we look forward to getting jamie and paul on at some point to talk about it but every time we organize a date or time they're they're, they're off doing things so paul if you're if you're watching now or if you're going to tune later on come on mate sort it out come on for ages. We, we jamie i haven't seen jamie for a long time yeah, jamie's probably performing for the queen or something somebody like somewhere that, yeah, yeah earning don't a forget gazillion your roots. dollars don't forget your roots pal yeah <laughs> ian smith he says hello mark paul says not sure how long i'm going to be here but hi all hello mark, hi, uh, mark. good to see you mark is our encyclopedia of knowledge for all things magic um uh, matthew uh, collie is here he says a oh, good afternoon andy tigley says hi lads and uh, thanks uh, for the help chase you're um, welcome andy i told you don't help that bloke don't help him hi, andy no, he's all right. Andy's probably one of our most regular I've customers right now. Honestly, I, I, I see Andy's name come up more than anybody else's. It's is he amazing. Bought, bought him today, is he? Uh, has he bought? Uh, yes, he has. He bought something. Uh, good old Andy. Yeah, he did. Last <laughs> night. I saw it this morning. Yeah. Something coming in on Monday. David Harris is here. He says, saying hi. Can't stay long. Uh, about to go into a meeting. Uh, good luck with the meeting, David. Yeah. Um, Sebastian Bickley is here. He says, I revived my close-up pad yesterday. It's superb. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh, Jay Cullen is there. He says, good afternoon. Uh, Andy Tingley says, nine of spades. Oh, he's won already. He has. He he's has. won already. Damn it. won. Yeah. Um, Bobo for a week. <laughs> Come and that. get her, Andy. <laughs> Daniel Rick says, morning all, afternoon for most of you. Uh, Tom Brace says, good afternoon team and afternoon to you as well, Tom. Um, Tony uh, Antonou says, uh, oh, hey guys. Um, Barry's there, he says, howdy. Uh, Michael Cooley, hi Prop Dog. Um, hello, Michael. Um, Adrian Pritchard says, yo. Eddie Grant says, hi Mike in the background. Uh, that's <laughs> not Mike in the background, that is... Um, Mr. Um, Kirk. Um, thank you, forgot his name. Um, Alex, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Michael's going to be here today, but he's got things to do, so unfortunately he couldn't make it today. So, uh, Rennie is here Just from Miami. She says hi. Hello in Miami. We can make um, it if we try. I wish I was in Miami. Uh, what? I don't wish I was in Miami. Why? Because look at me. Ah, uh, going to get all sunburned. Oh, shame. Uh, Graham Webber says, afternoon and great to visit on Monday. And great to have you here. Uh, thank you, Graham. Uh, Dave Bonney, hello, buddy. He says, hi, guys. Coffee Wagon Wheel on my favourite show of the week. Hey. Where's our Wagon Wheel? Where's our coffee? Yeah. I've had a Wagon Wheel for years. I know. I had one the other week. They are good. They are still good. 
I was trying to get a hole in my mouth when I was a kid. Have they got smaller? Yeah. They got Luke, smaller Luke doesn't like them. That's weird. Um, uh, right, Matthew Colley says, Does flash paper burn at different speeds? I've just bought a small dispenser. It came with a few pieces and it seems to burn a lot slower than your paper. Right, so flash paper does burn at certain speeds depending on the thickness. So you get the standard flash paper which burns at a standard sort of fairly average pace throughout all oh. different... Um, Sorry, that generally wasn't set up. <laughs> we did that last week. I know. Um, yeah, so standard flash paper burns at a fairly standard speed, and that's fairly average whether you're buying flash banknotes, flash playing cards, or regular flash paper. Then you have the ultra thin stuff. Some people call it American thin flash paper, some people just call it ultra thin, uh, and that is ultra thin. Uh, and because it's ultra thin, it burns way, way faster. It goes almost like in a complete flash, whereas flash paper go. Uh, yeah, I'll show you that. So um, uh, standard flash paper goes about. Like that. Ultra thin goes like that. And then you get thick flash paper, which is much better for printing on. If you've got an inject printer, it's more absorbent. And that kind of burns like that. So gives you a rough idea of the uh, burn speeds. And then you've got flash wool, of course, which is over in a flash. Yeah, so if you're buying something like Flare, um, the brilliant pen by Nicholas Lawrence, you want standard, I would say. We get asked this quite regularly. Yeah. If you use thin, it's likely to have done all of its ignition before it even exits the pen because it's, it's self-propelled, so yeah, yeah standard paper is perfect for that. I've never tried it, I've not tried it with slow, I wonder if that would it wouldn't make be so it good. go any further. No, no, no. no. Um, no it's a standard the, as well. There is a video on Facebook and I think YouTube as well uh, that I did about two years ago uh, where I go through a whole load of different flash papers and show you the burn speed. So I'll show you red flame, regular flame, flash wool, flash wool with sparkle powder, flash paper with sparkle powder. <gasps> All those kind of things. So if you search for prop bog flash paper on Facebook or YouTube, I think you should find the video. I hope that helps. Um, so who was that? Sorry, uh, that was Matthew. Yeah, hope it helps, Matthew. Um, right, J uh, James Hudson's there. He says, hello, gents. Scott Farrington says, uh, hi, guys. Happy Friday. We'll be down next month to uh, spend some birthday money. Aha. Uh -huh. Happy birthday. Um, uh, be good to see you again. It's been a while, mate. Um, Walter is there, as always. Walter says, afternoon, gents. Jason, did you get through all the coins yesterday? Uh I finished yesterday, yeah. I started on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't see it, check out our video where uh, Jason was looking, find it looking for a coin <laughs> unique. Uh, and it had nothing to do with Easy Ben coins being processed at all. Uh, so Nigel Quinn is there. He says, afternoon chap, stuck in my uh, office, hoping work will be shut down for two weeks. Yeah, I was thinking about the coronavirus. How is that going to affect us? Is it going to affect our sales? For example, uh, two doors down, we have um, a place called King's Fine Foods, and they specialise in caviar, salmon, champagne. And I was chatting to them this morning, and the bottom has fallen through their business, and they are panicking because everyone's hospitality events have all been cancelled. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm hearing this from more and more magicians, more and more of the pros are saying, oh my God, my gig's been cancelled, my gig's been cancelled. So a lot of the pros are now panicking because they've not covered themselves with uh, with bookings or, or deposits and stuff yeah. like that. That's a bit of a problem. Um, but the other side of things <coughs> is uh, the, uh, the guys who are not necessarily time. all the, 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 the pros, but people who have normal full-time jobs, if they are working from home or have to self-isolate, they might just get bored and, and search through the Prop Dog website and think, oh, oh well, course, I haven't seen yeah. this for a while. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you never um, know. It might be good for us, but at the moment, nothing's changed. So, uh, yeah. Not yet, no. no. Not yet. Right. Uh, where were we? Uh, so, down to uh, Alan Robinson's joined us. Hello, buddy. I hope all is well. And I hope uh, I hope everybody's healthy, actually. I hope no one so far has got the virus. Congrats, um, Alan, on your Digits of Deception review yeah. on uh, was a Product View as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well worth it. Well, really uh, Michael Cooley, did you finish the coin, Jason? Uh, yes, he did. Uh, Thomas Wonder says, hi, gents. Thanks to the Hocus Pocus magazine. Isn't it a great magazine? We've had some really good comments and feedback really from good. that. So, uh, yeah, we've got another batch in. Uh, it's going to be reviewed in Genie magazine. Um, Is it? Person. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, the, the, the review review's gone across. Uh, Alex, um, sorry, um, uh, hi, Eddie Grant says, uh, hi, Alex, uh, sorry. What, what, what have you been doing to Eddie, Eddie Grant? He called, no, he uh, called, I think Eddie called him Mike. Oh, did he? Oh, right, okay. Oh, right. Right. oh right. yeah, yeah. I mean, that does deserve an apology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You don't want to be, you yeah. be mistaken for that, man, do you? Max Gibson says, is optics as good as they say? Um, from the feedback, Oof. yes. I mean, we haven't really played around with it. We haven't taken it out. We haven't worked it. Uh, we haven't even got any in stock, have we? Got we've one, got we? one. Oh, I've got one left. We yeah, also, yeah. We also haven't the, had, I think we've had two returns. Right, the so, feedback in general has been amazing. I mean, two yeah. returns out of 100 units, yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. damn good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, uh, it is as good as they say, apparently, but I said, I haven't had a chance to it's use a bit, it. It's a bit knacky. Yeah. I played with it because I tried to review it on the live, but it's not one of those things you can pick up and learn in half an hour and then, then do, which is often the case with these with this. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, I could see why it would work. I could 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've mentioned before my, my feelings on it, but it's, Watch it's good. Trailer. It's really brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, Tom Brace says, um, I'd like a book review from Alex about the new Morgan and West book. We will be doing that next week because we've we go. got them coming in on Monday. How about that, Tom? Uh, Kevin Peel says, hi, all. Uh, Mark Paul says, uh, hi, Matthew. Some paper burns a lot quicker than other types. Uh, Rennie says, uh, I've got your um, prod dog ring flight. Is awesome. Good. Prop dog. Not Maybe he's got a knockoff one. Prod dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, James Hudson says, uh, yeah, it's brill. Uh, Alan Robinson says, be a bit of my favourite show of the week. Come on. Be a bit. This is phenomenal. Favourite show of the week. Four yeah, o'clock. Yeah, You're yeah, doing all right for yourself, Alan, aren't you? Right. <sighs> Andy Dingley says, my wife said to me, there's a lot of prop dog c come off our account. Um, I said, who the fuck's prop dog, Titter? Um, yeah, we were only it's kidding. Uh, and, and his yeah. wife, uh, he doesn't really shop with us very often. I mean, I think he shopped once with us last, last year. That was all. Yeah. That poodle he's got, though, he's yeah. well maintained. He's yeah. well looked after. <laughs> um, Paul Newton says, uh, I want some new mentalism toys, please. Uh, don't we all? Um, Tom Cocker says, um, what's your opinions on Flame by Murphy's Magic? Just released it. Any chance of a demo? We don't have one in. No. Um, I've got a few of them coming on Monday. I don't like the look of it. I watched a trailer and I thought, well, that's just a lighter with a bit of gas overpowered in it. And, and anyone trying to work out what's going on will work it out because I think it's personally really obvious. Yeah. Um, I might have to see it. Uh, some people might like it, but not my cup of tea. I agree with you, but I also know how much magicians like cool toys. And even though it's a lighter, even though I think people know how, it, how it's done, I, I still think people all... Really? We'll buy it, yeah. I wouldn't we've buy sold it. a couple already. Are we? But yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, not my cup of tea. We'll do it. Ne we'll do it next Friday go. if we've got any left. I've, I've not bought many because we're a bit. Uh, but um, we have to get some in, obviously, to keep you guys happy. Hmm. Um, right, Nigel Quinn says, looking forward to reading Morgan and West's Parlor Tricks. This is Pippin again. I thought I'd turn these damn sound effects off. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, um, Parlor Tricks. In fact, uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, we've got it to talk about because I've, I've oh, read okay. a little bit into it. So, uh, oh. so no kind of what you're getting there we go Nigel how about that uh, Adrian Twitton says uh, afternoon gents sneaking a hello in between the best job of the year giving people pay rises I want a pay rise can I <laughs> have one is it is it pay rise no. day is it from, uh, from you guys oh, get paid great. double oh, what I get paid what does Adrian thanks, do yeah. what does Adrian do what Adrian pay does. rises he walks he into makes, a building and says he makes brilliant you, cartoons you, you, well, you, you got a pay rise you you're sacked get out that's Adrian have we show, have we obviously people have seen the, the picture at the, at the start of the live but have have we sort of given credit to where that's from? Because that is from the man that is Mr. Adrian Tritton, Mr. Payrise. As he'll when you see the know. beginning screen, uh, screen of the, uh, the the beginning of Pop Dog uh, Live, then uh, this is from Adrian. I'm trying to get there with Quite the, the lights. Yeah. I, I can kind of like blind people. Yeah, I'm blinding them. Uh, no, don't do that. There you go. So, or set yeah. fire to yeah. the to the. So yeah, we've taken that as our little uh, intro screen to the Pop Dog Lives, and uh, yeah. yeah, thank you again, Adrian, for your very awesome present. By the way, couldn't believe that when yeah. that turned yeah. up. I was like, that is, that is brilliant. Yeah. yeah, well, um, we have to be quite honest here. Um, the first one did actually have cash in it. Uh, and initially, um, uh, Adrian brought it in the day cash left. So I was like, ah, cash is just left. So, um, yeah, we had to... And Alex wouldn't grow a beard. Yeah. So. <laughs> Finley says, uh, would you remind me... Uh, sorry, would you recommend me using flash paper or should I wait until I'm a little older as I'm only 13? Uh, personally, I would wait till you're older. I mean, legally, we're not allowed to sell you flash paper, Finley. It's going to have to be ordered by your mum and dad until you're, you're 18. Uh, but my thing is, with you using it, a lot of people are going to go, oh, he's a young kid. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing, even if you do know what you're doing. Uh, and they will be more worried about yeah. you doing it. And, yeah, I, I would just wait for a bit longer just it's nothing to do with you it's personally just people's personal perception of you using flash paper they go someone that young shouldn't be using it when you know you get the idea so i would recommend waiting a little there finley uh walter mcgurn uh has sent a smiley face and jeffrey says uh, hi dave and jason i've sent you an email can you look at it when you have a chance please jeff um are you not keeping an eye on the emails i was keeping on the emails i mean i'll get adrian Tritton to sack you i've got mm, yeah. i've got no i've just from jeff's yeah. name i can't remember sometimes guys you've got to understand we can <coughs> get bombarded by emails i mean we, we it's almost one full-time job um just answering emails for people asking for advice or how tricks work or they can't get their codes right to go into certain products and and yeah we just get bombarded with hundreds and hundreds of emails every day sometimes some of them get missed until later on sometimes their lower priority ones will get answered later on in the day yeah um, Monday uh, and Friday are also yeah. our busiest days and Saturdays and Sundays there's no one here I mean Mike's in the shop but he doesn't do the email so if you do send an email after kind of 5 30 
well actually after four o'clock on a Friday because we won't get a chance to answer emails now until Monday so but we will have a look yeah um, and uh, I'm gonna write uh, yeah. what's Jeff's surname I'll, I'll he's write basically it he's um got Alex some is looking glue. at it now it's what sorry he's got some glue on the front of his JOL wallet I've, okay oh I haven't seen that the and the color off a little bit so got some glue on it I mean I'll try and baby wipe it as best as possible and then glue from what gluing the flaps glue in the flaps Glue from the bonds <laughs> I'm guessing. The edge no. of the flap. I don't know. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll have a look at yeah, yeah. It's not we'll into it now. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, right. Otto says, uh, yeah, about 80% uh, of all gigs cancelled at the moment, both Magic and Pyrotechnics. Bummer. That is a bummer. Otto. You're just going to have to make more funny <laughs> videos for us. <laughs> Tell yeah. what I was going to say. more stuff up for us. It'll be great. We need um, to self-isolate and, and do do pyro things Charlie's here he says sorry I'm late Charlie come on it's four o'clock you know the time mate you know the time no mum, rise for Charlie. hello Charlie's mum uh, oh, sorry. hello Charlie's mum I uh, drive home from school faster Charlie's mum yes he's gonna miss the lives yes might not be at school next week yeah no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Charlie's mum yeah. um, <laughs> Paul Sunderland says uh hi Charlie's mum stay away Paul um <laughs> she's mine I mean, she's um, she's she's a friend of ours. Uh, Alan Rom says, uh, "Hey man, if you can, uh, you can." Yeah. Um, Daniel Rick says, "I just came out of a four-year hiatus. Uh, was president of our club for four years, and all gigs have been cancelled, including our magic meetings. Wow, entertainment is being hit major here in the U.S. The Live Nation company, which is a huge conglomerate, has postponed all the singing stroke music tours, including yeah, all saw that. the illusionist shows, and oh, wow, all others yeah. are affiliated." Whew. Yeah, this is going to be a real bummer for a lot of lot of workers, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, yeah, less. Well, I mean, what do you do? do you, you know, you're obviously going to take a deposit off them, but you know, if, if you have a month's worth of gigs cancelled and you've only got a month's worth of deposits, if you even take deposits, I never even took deposits oh, back don't. in the day. I don't. Then yeah, you better hope you've got some money in the bank. Oh Christ! Well, what I'm most annoyed about is my kids' gig that was at Wembley. It's just they've just yeah. told me it's over. So it's annoying. Busk, busk on the streets. That's why I was mm. out the front of Wembley. We'll start selling face masks as a sideline. Oh, those. I'm oh, sorry. I thought you meant like characters. You meant right. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's um, we <laughs> like why? Why are people? Why are people going to be buying clown masks off me, Dave? But yeah, you meant you meant yeah. yeah gotcha. Yeah. 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 Whoever's selling those is making a fortune at the moment. Uh, Walter says, um, as you know, uh, sorry, as you're all there, I, s I was off by one hour. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think there's a, a time difference. I mean, because uh, um, Frank had the same thing in Florida, so I'm guessing you guys have got a daylight saving thing going on that we don't yet. So uh, that may be why. Uh, Rene says, uh, are you guys going to be at Magic Live? Um, yes, Rene, I've booked the ticket for Magic Live, but I haven't booked the flight yet. And the reason I haven't booked the flight is just in case they cancel, because if they cancel, I'm screwed on the flight. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's all going ahead. Um, there. But the, the, there's every chance that Magic Live could be cancelled. You never know. Uh, we haven't heard anything from them to say it is, but you never know. It could be. Uh, Otto says the flame lighter sadly looks like uh, it won't be very bright uh, since it uses the blue mm. light of the flame. Necessarily, a very yeah. dark environment will be visible at all times, even from just across the table. Yeah, and, and to be honest, I mean, <coughs> I don't know how many people like gas stoves or camping stoves where the flame rises to the yeah, top. Yeah. It's not exactly anything magical. Uh, Adrian says, Dave, Jason, Alex, I've got your letters here as well. Is that letters for pay still, rise? Still worry, isn't uh, it? Yeah. Still worry. No, I get that. I was like, what are these letters for? Um, Walter says, great picture of Bobo makes Jason look like he has a ponytail. Uh, does it? It does as well. Yeah. Ponytail, Jason. I do. Yeah, I yeah. cut it off after Adrian brought it in so he could have to make us another one. Bobo was originally your ponytail. Uh, she, yeah. yeah. So, on your bobs. Uh, right, uh, J.O. says, uh, hello guys, can you show me a demo of the red prediction by Daryl? Oh! It's like he's in the shop. Why don't we just do that now? Why don't Let's we do that now? Let's just do that right now. What are we going to do? Oh, do remember Luke now? is Luke's wanting to come to us live from... Uh, oh, yeah, oh should we see if he's ready? No, he, well, I don't... Um, I think he said 25 past four. So we've got time to do the, to do the red I prediction. I can check see if he's ready now. Uh, should we? Yeah, let's... Should we go okay, we're just going to go, see, just gonna go see if, if Luke is ready in, in Japan. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Jason. Here I am at Tenyo headquarters in Japan with the new trick motor bus. What? Okay. I'll call you back. Okay, okay well, I'm not quite ready yet. Yeah, so we'll go back there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, okay, we'll see what's going on with Luke later. Yeah, right, okay, let's get on with this. Uh, yeah, prediction. Okay. Sorry, you go in the middle. Okay, uh, here's, the middle. My, here's my prediction. Face down. Okay. I won't touch that anymore. Is it red? 
Hey, no. Well, you're not meant to know the name of the trick. It's called don't it, don't it. Probably best not to introduce this trick as the red prediction when okay. you're hopping around the tables. Okay. I think that might. I know nothing. Okay. Use Bobo instead. She knows nothing. And what I have here, Dave, oh. six cards with numbers on. Okay. Some are face up, some are face down. Oh, should we go in uh, zoom on this? Oh, we could try and. Yeah, There's no cool. handling, so you might. Oh, not, let's go. Let's go in, in on the zoom. Let's go here. here. So, well. Zoom. They want you to. I want you to imagine a, a dice. Okay. Six normal, six-sided, six-sided regular dice. dice. Do you want to adjust it slightly, Jason? Can you see the screen from there? Just uh, yeah. Bring it up a little bit. Just. Uh, but we never say die here at Prop Dog. We never say die. Never there say die. Go. And so if you ah, could just, there we go. About there. just imagine you've got a dice in your hand. Give it a good shake. Lovely. And, and then the dice. And, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And a roll. I knew I knew there'd be laughs in this somewhere. And a roll. Oh, Dave, what have you rolled? Uh, four. A four. Mm -hmm. That's uncanny, isn't that it? That is unbelievable. Yeah. That's number two. We've we've not set that's anything up one. either. That's number six. It's number. Three. Well, that's number five. It's number four. I'll just show you. These have all got. It's the number four. It's a red pack. But. And look at the prediction. Surprisingly enough. The prediction says, "Oh, you've moved off the moved off the zoom oh, wait, camera." Oh, I'm just going back under the zoom. Um, there you go. You will choose the red card. Very good. Very Ooh. good. And there was nothing pre-planned there. Dave's never seen that before. Nope, no, no, I, I, I didn't even know what the trick was. No. I didn't even know we had a trick called red prediction. This is all your thing. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, very good. So this, the reason I like this, a couple of reasons why. Uh, one, it's Daryl. Two, it's nine ninety nine. <laughs> Right. And three, it's good for anybody. I could recommend that to a child and, and yeah. they'll do it. And that'd be a good one to demo the shop to uh, to newbies coming in. But if for those of you that are often asking, what can what, what can I stick onto in order to get it over the fifty pound mark, or you know, lots of things like that. Nine 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 is a bargain for what it is. And uh, yeah, how many do we have in stock? Uh, we've got. Well, I'm doing an order now, so oh, I can add few. more. Yeah, let's get more. Yeah, let's get some more. I mean, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's a nice super, trick. Super easy. You know, I like super, it. it you, you, that, well, how many times do we get people in here? They're, they want to buy the first magic trick, or they bought a couple, and they yep. want something really easy to handle, something they can walk away with. That's a perfect demo. Yeah, trick. it's a perfect yeah, package. Perfect trick. little package trick in here. Uh, anyone can do it, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, brilliant. And you, like can, you can divulge this this red card prediction any way you want, can't you? You can, yeah. have yes. it. You can text it to them, and yep. not them look. Or... Yeah, it can it's... be on your phone or anything. Obviously, if you haven't got a piece of paper, you can do what you want. I did it on Mila, who is our our honorary lay person in the office. Postal whiz. Yeah, she, like she liked it. Yeah, yeah Good. she did. So there you go. I mean, you know, she had that. Jo, that was for you. Completely free, completely right. free choice of number as well. Okay, let's. Uh, do you want to see if Luke's ready again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go yeah, to Luke and see if he's. Luke, uh... see what's going on. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. Luke, not, Luke isn't quite ready yet. Yeah. Um, no. We'll come back to Luke a little Sorry about this. Yeah. It's okay. difficult no when you're yeah. going that far uh, over. Right. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, Finley says I saw Morgan and West lecture last month. I had a little, little look through their book, and it looks like it's really cool. Um, and there is so much stuff in there. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll get Alex to do his uh, review of it uh, next week. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Should we briefly mention it as as, as Finley's just sort of queued us up for that? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I don't know a lot yeah, yeah. about it. I've obviously read the ad copy, but what I like a lot about what I've seen is obviously there's several routines in there for. Uh, for parlour and stage, mm -hmm. but you also get their full act as a as a as a video or a download, I believe. Right. So you can you can read the book, understand the concepts, and then watch those concepts put into play if you if you like. Okay. So it's quite nice. It's almost like the silly Billy, um, the kids' magic book, where you can buy the company DVD and then watch the show. Yeah. And that really helps ingrain the the sort of lessons and the learning that's that's embedded in the book. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be really good. It's it's getting. Uh, a bit of buzz that book. Lots of lots of people talking about it on kids magic forums, on on general magic forums. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be really good. And Morgan and West, are, are great. Performance. Two of my favourite performers. Yeah, yeah. brilliant performers. Really good. Yeah, they've been around a long while, and uh, yeah, I remember seeing uh, their very first sort of outing together as, as a couple when they're their very first kids, yeah. and they've just grown so much over the last kind of 10, 15 years. So, so it's well. in yeah. uh, it'll be in Monday. Awesome. <coughs> right, uh, James Shin says hello, guys. Uh, I'm late. Yeah, always late, James. I'm always saying to you that James always like James always Shin. Late. Yeah, always come on, sort Adrian's writing uh, notes. <laughs> Alan's there. He says um, uh, I'm around uh, the seventy percent down rate on gigs, but I get, uh, but I get it. Just keep my head down and keep pushing forward. Uh, I mean, luckily for you, Alan, you're a creator as well. So anytime you're not gigging, you can just get more time spent creating, can't you? So uh, what are you doing, Bobo? What are Touch you doing? wood. I've not had anything yeah. yet, but fingers crossed. <laughs> <coughs> we'll know. 
I meant um, gigs cancelled, oh, not, right. not a bug. <laughs> Jake Allen says, I'm panicking about Corona as well as doing gigs. I'm also working the holiday part. Both industries are being hit hard. Yeah. Oh, horrible, 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 horrible. Um, Tom Crocker says, could you explain more about cube tube, please? Can't seem to work out exactly all the uses in conjunction with Ooh, Venom Cube it's very from good. the trailer. Uh, we'll be talking about it in a little while, uh, Tom. So, um, yeah. Yeah. This yeah, we've we got it ready to go, um, so we'll talk great. about that very shortly. So, uh, J.O. says, I will order Red Prediction now, uh, and a lot more stuff. Yeah. Um, Good man, thank you. Thank you, uh, J.O. Um, Patrick says, uh, hi, guys, I hope you're both well. Uh, I've been using Extreme Burn Press. Very good. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's kind of, um, uh, a lot of people don't get it, really. They're like, oh, why would I use that? But then when somebody does use it, they go, ah, I get it now. It's one of those things that you've got to uh, use it, and then suddenly go, what a difference it makes. Well, especially then, as the yeah. new 20s have come in as well. So it's almost it's almost decision time, isn't it, with Extreme Burn, whether you take the plunge and make them out of the, the plastic yeah, notes yeah. Or, um, uh, or go to 50s and wait for them to come in. And we will be doing uh, um, the Tyvek lottery tickets in the new uh, note sizes very soon, won't we? Yeah. Go? What are you doing, yeah, we were asked Where about are you last going? Where do you want to go? What are you doing? You're bored? Oh, you want tickles to you. Right, okay. Uh, right, Rich um, uh, Gerrish says, uh, I picked up the Morgan and West book today and it's great. The whole act is explained and each effect has a summary requirements, uh, method, script and theory. Wow. Um, yeah, That's awesome. Uh, Andy says, uh, I'm in self-isolation as I have a rare lung disease and a heart disease, so I have to be careful. Wow, oh, good luck, God. Andy. Hopefully, luck. Uh, uh, yeah, fingers crossed for you, my friend. Uh, right, so let's get on with something else. Oh, uh, very quickly, Otto has come through and says, any idea when you'll have the blank fill plus deck back in stock? I don't know. Murphy's out of stock of it, um, so either we get them from Phil, uh, sorry, from Trevor Duffy um, in South Africa, which will be about a month shipping because they're just a nightmare out there, uh, or we have well, to wait until Murphy's get it back in. Even so, longer now. Uh, yeah. We've got it with the booklet, haven't we? Is it much more expensive when you get it? With oh, we've got the booklet, booklet version. Yeah. They have oh, okay. a few. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. So we've got the version with the booklet, and if you don't mind paying a little extra, um, we've I, only got I, a couple. Yeah, I don't really know what the booklet is in the booklet. Actually, is that just instructions? Is that? I've never I think it's, it's, I think think it's a routine. Or haven't previously bought the deck. Right. We then want to cust want, want to customize some ideas for right, customization. Yeah, I've, I've not seen the uh, the book yet, so uh, right, okay. Uh, Aid uh, Adam O'Brien says, "Can we see a demo of Cinemental, please?" Um, Ooh, has anyone done that yet? Uh, I didn't learn it because it was done at Blackpool. Right. We were showing it at Blackpool, so I don't know who was demoing it out there. Alex. Uh, was it you? Uh, okay, well, I could, I could, I could. Uh, do you want to have a quick uh, well, 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 refresh yourself very quickly, and then um, you can come and do it in a minute? So uh, yeah, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get onto that. Um, so that was for um, uh, Adam, wasn't it? Yeah. So we'll get onto that in a minute, Adam. Um, and uh, yeah, I haven't really opened it yet, so I'm not too sure about no, it. No, I missed the whole yeah. Blackpool thing because I was in the shop. So it was one of the ones that just went straight under my radar. And he says, "Have you seen the new 4D app? Looks brilliant." I have no idea what that is. Nor do I. No. 4D. Okay. Uh, no, we haven't. No, <laughs> Andy, sure. yeah, no idea what it is. Uh, Patrick says. Um, uh, oh great! I'm so pleased you'll be doing the private lottery tickets in the new twenty. Yeah, it's just going to take some time. Uh, it, it's it's not like I can just shrink it and put it on. Um, the original <coughs> Tyvek tickets took me around about twenty hours worth of work to create, um, and then I've got to resize everything again. It's probably got about six or seven hours worth of work, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. But we will do it at some point. Uh, Kenny says, uh, "Hi Dave, been playing with your impossible car balance, getting great, re uh, fantastic reactions. Uh, great, thank you, Kenny. That's good to hear. Um, it's nice just, uh, to know that you know somebody's using something of mine and, and it's working. So uh, that's good. Mm. It's like uh, when somebody says the sugar routine or the ring flight's going well. It's like yes." I feel justified. You almost said that. Where, that almost sounded like your stuff doesn't work. The way you said that. It's like, it's nice, no, to, have, it's no, nice to have something of mine that's working. Well, I get a lot of people say they yeah, buy yeah. the sugar routine and they say, oh, I've had it for like a, a six months and I've not tried it yet. I'm a bit nervous. Or somebody had a ring flight for two years and they never tried it. I said, yeah. just go out there and do it. I've got to admit, I, I've, I've been doing the, um, the garage door one that you gave me. I've been tr doing that occasionally. Oh, Obviously the fault. It's not, yeah, I don't yeah, work yeah, in those yeah. environments, but yeah. when I've had the opportunity, I've been trying it out. Well, you it do realise that the whole magic community is waiting for you. I know, to say, I yes, know. This works, yeah. I'll I know, it's, it's breaking news when I, when I come with All my right. verdict. Okay, Andy Tigley says, yeah, go to uh, YouTube, uh, put in uh, Magic 4D Wizard, um, gave it 10 out of 10. Uh, we shall have a look after the show there, Andy. Um, so, yeah. Oi, oi, do uh, Danny Mars says he has it and it's brilliant. Uh, 40 replica is the app. We'll have a look into it, Danny. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Tom Cocker, what is the best uh, large double-ended envelopes to buy? Um, well, what do you mean by double end? Well, double end. Well, I don't know if I can say because yeah, it kind um, of tips a method. D d d d you know what I'm thinking of, don't you? Um, 
what mine yours and mm. yeah yeah um but yeah uh, they're the only ones i know of i don't know of any other ones to well buy. there's the one we were talking about the other day not they're not huge but is it concealment concealment is that is that the double m i think i think, I really I think so yeah. i yeah. think they are but they're not okay. massive they're, they're yeah they're um, card size not sure entirely i'm afraid tom um yeah it's not something we've really looked into um and we we don't provide them because it's difficult to say without explaining it, but there's a reason we don't sell them. Put it that I way. I think yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe someone like Mark Leverage might have some. I don't know. Eddie says I have a card trick called Time Deck. Cards are cut diagonally, but I can't remember how to do it. Um, I don't know, but if anyone there does know, then please do drop um, Eddie a message and, uh, and let him know. Hopefully, Mark Mark's still watching. Uh, yeah, um, Patrick says, um, "Oh, I think the target twenty lottery tickets or twenty euro lottery tickets are the right size for the new twenty note." Oh, okay. Uh, that will be a good guide for the uh, for the future. Right, okay, what are we going to talk about next? Um, what do you fancy? Do you want a trick? Should we do uh, Alex's book? We can talk about the bubble. Um, um, rainbow ropes. Rainbow ropes. Okay. So, yep. It's rainbow ropes. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Thank you. Right, right on. We are going to do rainbow ropes. So, uh, this is... Uh, a quick performance of Daryl's Rainbow Ropes, uh, Rainbow Ropes Remixed, it's called, and I've got the neon one here. Right, so if you stand just about here, you'll be right in the centre of the Zoom cam. Right yeah. in the centre of the Zoom cam. Yep. Um, yeah, you, this is going to be a bit difficult because we've not got huge uh, permutations right and left, but you'll get the idea. So I've got, uh, I've got three ropes. I've got an orange one, I've got a green one, and a yellow one. And what we're going to do... Oh, I thought you had the buzzer. <laughs> I, thought, I was waiting for you to do it. We're going to tie uh, these up. Like this, da, 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 da. and that connects the yellow and the orange, and then we're going to tie up the green and the yellow, like so, and we end up with one. Hopefully, you can see this one long piece of rope. You all got that? Yep. Great. Okay. Now, Dave. Yeah. I'm gonna start coiling the rope up into my hand mm -hmm. okay and what's going to happen is hopefully you will see if you blow we need a little bit of magic dust that i keep over here and one by one oh. the knots melt off and then the rope is fused together and it's also completely examinable no Magnus involved. No Magnus. Yeah, Mila, Mila said to me, "Is it like Four Nightmares?" I went, uh, no. "No, it's uh, it's much easier than Four Nightmares." <laughs> uh, but it's it's great. I, I really like it. Now we're we're gonna discuss how this is made, aren't we? Because this was your main trepidation about yes. getting it in. My main worry is it's a knitted rope, mm. um, and a knitted rope is the only way they can really get the colours to work so well. It's, it's all and it's not. Possible. It does look good. Oh yeah, it look, looks great. I mean, there, there is definitely no join there. Um, it's one solid, uh, one single length of rope. But yeah, trying to, to colour ropes, real ropes, to do that would be a nightmare. It would look like it's joined and you can't just dye ropes right in the middle there. It would all bleed. So the only way around it is to knit the rope. Um, and I know from past experience using knitted ropes is that they do get not only dirty very easily, but they get all the you know the little knobbly bits you get in your jumper or your, your, your woolly jumpers after a while and you kind of, kind of shave them off. Mm. The rope becomes like that um, and it becomes very... There's loads and loads of little microfibers in there, and it gets like a furry, hairy rope after a while. So that's my only issue with it. Yeah. Um, as long as you keep your hands clean and you don't put it in a dirty case, put it in a nice clean bag, it will last two or three times longer. Uh, you can wash them. You can just put them in, in um, lukewarm water and hand wash them, not in the washing machine. It'll all shrink up and, and be trashed. But uh, yeah, that's the only downside to it. But there's no other way to do the rope, really. So it's just something you've got to live with. Well, one thing about it that is... I suppose a good and well, I know I suppose it's a good thing. Um, the fact that it's e relatively easy to do, yeah, again, not really a, ba not a do, bad yeah. shout for yeah. beginners. This, oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, and because you're not like, like last week when we had the guys that had bought four nightmares and said, I want to buy a new set because I've practiced and practiced and practiced and and you know, knackered the rope out for want of a better term. Um, this isn't going to take much rehearsal, no, no. and then you know, I would maybe do, you know, I consider doing this in my kids' show and I'd do it once, once a week or you know. For once with every, once in every gig, um, if you're using it walk around, you're going to use. If you're using it twenty times a night, then it will wear a lot quicker. I reckon I could have this for six months without it, doing it in kids shows, and it would be fine. But for an investment of 
How much is it? Twenty seven ninety nine. I mean, if you're working, if you're working and you like it that much, I mean, for me, it's, I don't think it's good enough to break into my my number one set. But um, yeah, I like it. It's so different. It's definitely different to a card trick. It's so, yeah. It's nice. It's nice to have this color rope as well. Amila said. Um, Amelia's coming up a lot. She said she'd buy this one over the red, blue, and uh, white because it's just quite nice to see something other than white rope yeah, yeah. being used. And they are very very vibrant. Uh, yeah, it's a nice trick. Awesome. Right, that was uh, Rainbow Ropes. Rainbow Ropes remixed. Let's have a look, see what's going on here. So uh, we were down to just about Adam Bonus. He says, um, if you're talking about uh, what I think you're talking about, you can make your own very easily. Um, yeah, you could. Um, you can just glue two envelopes together, I guess. It wouldn't be perfect, but uh, oh, Preston's joined us. Hello, Preston. I Hi, hope you're well. Um, uh, it's Simon with you. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Cool Simon. the other day um, as well, buddy. Call me. Uh, uh, James Hudson says it's a miracle. <laughs> Thank you, James. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, Mark Paul, one of the most uh, woolen, uh, sorry, he says most of the woolen rope tricks originated by the late Woolly Boyce. Ah, uh, well, these are all Daryl ones, aren't they? We're doing mm. a, a, a lot of Daryl stuff at the moment. Yeah, his um, acrobatic knot um, we've not done on the live because it's, you know, it's it's not a new trick, but it's sold really well since we've had it in. So do I urge you to check that out if you are a fan of it. It, it takes a bit more practice to do well. That is, I would say, almost a complete beginner trick, whereas Rainbow um, acrobatic knot. There's a bit more to it, but it's a brilliant, brilliant yeah, effect. Yeah. Go away, we're closed. Get out. Get out. How dare you come in our shop? <laughs> Just a customer. No idea who he is. Just we do this a lot. Never yeah. seen him before. Um, right. Uh, Andy says, um, "Can't the ropes be plastic sleeved?" Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's is that a joke. Hmm. I don't yeah, know if that's I a joke. Kind of loses the, the effect on that one. But uh, Otto does oh, say um, right, okay, sorry. he agrees 100% about the knitted ropes. Brilliant, easy trick though. Uh, Daniel Rick says, I still have my old, uh, my original set and uh, anything Daryl is worth it. Yeah, I'll completely agree on that, Daniel. Anything by Daryl is always the worth tuition, it. Um, uh, the tuition, you actually get, you get Daryl's full tuition from the original Fool of Dollars as well, yeah. as well as Mark Lavelle. So um, yeah, really good. Uh, Michael Fitch says, love the silk frame. Um, good to hear, mate. You upset a lot of people because you got in there first and about 20 people afterwards all wanted it. So, um, yeah, we have got more uh, coming. Yeah. We have got more coming, yeah. So, uh, Tom Brace says, Preston Lyman, um, is that you in the beginning of the episode of uh, uh, Stathlet's Flats? Uh, Stathlet's Flats? Never heard of that. Stathlet's Flats. Um, I could have sworn it is. Um, and you would have... Uh, it was you and forgot to check. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, Probably. Pre Preston pops up all kinds of places, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, well, so does his dad. Uh, a couple of uh, serial commercials, I think, I saw with you. Um, Jake Allen says, uh, love acrobatic knot. Uh, Michael Fitch, looking forward to using it this weekend. Uh, Mark Paul says, acrobatic knot was from Billy, uh, so was, for, was from Wally Boyce, the jumping knot of Pakistan. Ah, Ooh. good old Mark Paul, as always. Thanks, Mark. Mark is oh, yeah. really helpful. Yes, it's always. like Dictionary Corner, isn't it? It's like, yes. like the Susie Dent of Countdown, uh, of Prop Dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's been, a long, it's been a long week. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm ill. Uh, let's go back to see if Luke's ready, shall we? Uh, oh, crikey! Yeah, Luke. Luke sorry. Been waiting for us. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jason. I am here at Tenyo headquarters in Japan, looking at their new trick, Notabill. I'm very excited, but I am short a little bit of spending money, so I draw myself a little a picture here. There we go. Okay, draw myself a bit of money. Okay, so if I go a little pull, there we go. I should have done it in yen, really, didn't it? But here we go anyway, isn't that good? Back to you guys at the studio. Studio? Studio? Kind of is a studio, the way all this Shop. technology. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, Luke. Um, thanks, Luke. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching, thanks, mate. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, you're you staying safe over there. I hope and, he gets uh, back in time for Tuesday as well, They shift. Oh, bloody well, better do, yeah. 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 But, um, yeah. But that is Notabil by Tenyo. We thought we'd show you it uh, live from Japan. Wasn't it good? Brilliant, yeah. Really and, visual, um, super visual. I've got my own version here, and it is it is really, really nice. Are you going to Really nicely made. I'm not going to damn it, but I'm just going to show people the... Uh, have we got the close-up camera? Uh, yeah. Uh, how about that? show people exactly. Well, yeah, let's go super zoom. Let's go really zoom. There you go. I mean, super look at zoom. that. It does look like a drawing, which yeah. is really nice. And then when it comes out, when the money comes out of the pad, uh, it, it it's great. What do you think of that, Saf? Wait, so do, it's, do it. Oh well, well, it's not loaded. Is it? It's not loaded, but I can do the move. 
So there's uh, that's so visual, same. yeah, yeah. And that are we? Oh, we're not. We're not on coast anymore. Oh, yeah, um, but that's what it looks like uh, after. Do you, you want to just do the move, uh, reset, and do the move? Oh, and I we'll, can we'll, do, do. we'll do that on the zoom. Hold so on a we'll go to main cam zoom. No, we won't. We'll go to phone zoom. There we are. Go to that one there. Just want to do it on here. Okay. Not, I've not done this at all. Yeah. So hopefully this looks right. Ready? Wow, that's great, isn't it? And then you'd have a note in your hand. You'd have uh, a note in your hand, hand. yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's great. It's really good. It's made of. It's durable as well. Uh, you have to put this together. You don't have to put the pad together, but you have to put the. Yeah, ten ten year have been bringing out some really good stuff recently, haven't they? It reminds me of Sketch. You know Gerald Miranda's thing. Yeah, it's yeah, but the... that's better. Yeah. That's way better. Yeah. And I it mean, won't break. Sketch was good, but yeah. Uh, yeah. How much is it? Because it's not expensive either. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. Is that it? That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, but they've been bringing out some really good stuff. Nineteen ninety nine. That was, uh, funnily enough, that was a Preston Nyman recommendation. Wow. So thanks, buddy. Uh, Preston right. is a big Tenu fan. That was one of the and tricks collector. he told me to get. Yeah. So. Uh, Cheers, Preston. Yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, right, Hans says. Um, uh, Hans is the, the uh, German Shepherd, by the way. Um, yeah. Who types? Uh, that's Hans. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi Hans. <laughs> Hans says, um, hi guys, How, uh, how's everyone in Magic Land? Oh yeah, we're pretty good. But well, we're, we're healthy, yes, yes. How is Corona affecting you? Not affecting us so far, um, and not affecting many in the UK, uh, other than all the gig cancellations. Uh, mm. In Sweden, it's everything is worry, more or less cancelled. Uh, all gatherings, 500 or more, are forbidden, wow. And most gigs seem to be cancelled as well. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's becoming a, a fairly common thing. I think Italy's even, even worse, yeah. isn't it? What yeah. are you doing, Bobo? What are you doing? Where are you going? Come on, go on, go there. Go on, yeah, go on, go it's on. a worry. It's a worry. Let's let's try and forget about it for the life. Yeah. Right. Well, it's Frank says, uh, any reviews of Ultra Lucky Coin by Eric Tate? Uh, n no. Alex? Never heard of it. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's meant to be really good. It's one of those things where you have um, a coin on the other side of the coin set prediction of the card they've stopped on. It's a very oh, long... yes, I have <laughs> seen it. Yeah. It's very long to explain. Um, but I love Eric Tate's stuff, so I'm assuming it's probably really good. Oh, let's try um, and get it in. Okay. Let's have a look on... Let's get it in. Let's, let's get it in. Do it. Let's get it in. Um, Alex, it in. do you want to do uh, Cinemental? I, I see you've set something up here. Are you, are you ready to go? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, you do that. I'm going to have a look for this Ultra Lucky coin. Oh, leave, Cinemental. Leave Dave. Yeah. Do you perform it? I, uh, Jason Knowles performed it on me last week. But you don't perform it. I don't perform it, but yeah. the secret actually blew my mind. And I was like, that is actually brilliant. Mm. Uh, Andy Tingley says, uh, I have a note. Jason, have you got your. your I have note a bill. Uh, I have note a bill? I have note a bill, but no clue how to put it together, laugh out loud. Uh, so shoved in my black hole drawer. Uh, note a bill. I don't. Did there's an English, the thing, we, the thing we've just done with the money. Oh, that's it, is it? Yeah, oh, okay, right. Well, if, if you haven't um, got any instructions, Andy, or if you want instructions, let us know and uh, we'll either send you them or Jason will film an instruction video for you and send it over. Well, on the front of the. It's not easy to. Oh, right, I'll say this. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a payment. Uh, I'll say this, it's not the easiest thing in the world to put together. By that I mean, um, I did it, but it took maybe 15 minutes to get it sorted, 15 to 20 minutes, okay. and you've got to be quite precise. So I know some customers of ours that don't like doing arts and crafts, mm -hmm. get someone else to do it for you. You do have, or you should have the instructions. If you've got the blue and white booklet, it says on the front um, where to download an English PDF, which is how I did it. Okay. So if you need that link, let us know and I will send you a photo. But um, actually, it, it's between the Japanese. There's a little, there's a bit that just says English instructions here. You go to Tenya's website, put in the code, put in the password, and it's a, and it, you download a PDF. We get a lot of questions about people who buy Tenyo products and say it's all in Japanese and they can't understand it, but there's usually an English link somewhere. Hidden. You just they are really hidden. look closely, quite often yeah. very small. It's normally on the front uh, page. Yes, so. uh, sorry, I'm doing some research. Right, Dwayne says, um, I love Pop Dog and Sav. Uh, Sav, come here. Which, which Dwayne is it? <laughs> Wayne Paul Williams. <coughs> Wayne Paul Williams, what right. is up? Hey, prop dog. You're on. Too late, mate. I'm on. Sure so, show. what questions have you got? I've got like 10 minutes before I need to disappear. Could we send it? Wait, this system is crazy. It's I thought cool, you were still it? doing it on Facebook. No, it is that Facebook. That is cool. It is Facebook. Come what, on, like the comments show? Yeah. So, guys. Comments are there. No, I, 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 I can put some like uh, Peter Burkett's comment. I can add it to the range screen. Okay, so everyone can see that. And, uh, Sweet, no thank you for that. Put that to the side. What uh, questions have they got? Get some experience. So Peter Burkett says, I have, uh, I have this, uh, can't put it together, uh, any help with an open bill? Um, so yes, uh, yeah, we just talked about that, yeah, so we will, we will sort you out, Peter. Uh, sorry, Andy, um, sorry, um, uh, and Peter. 
Yeah, okay, so drop us an email, Andy and Peter, and we will send you a little video showing you what we know about it, so uh, that should help you. Um, yeah, but if you don't send us a video, we'll probably forget, uh, an email, we'll probably forget to do it, so uh, if you can do that. Um, right, okay, what is next? Um, uh, Alex yeah. is doing his thing, isn't he? Bubble replacement. Are you, you ready to go, Alex? Mm. Yeah. Alex has got a mouthful of food at the moment, so he's going to do that. Right. So replacement bubble one one pop, yeah. So um, we're just going to talk just to say we've got them. Uh, that's all it is. Are you them. ready? Mm -hmm. They're handmade. How can you guy. be eating during a live? You've had all day to eat. Well, well no. you do nothing all day. Just playing with magic. And, and oh, now, sorry. To be fair, yeah, I eat on my Instagram yeah. live, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I see. Well, we, we've got um, about hundred thousand people watching at the moment. That's different. Nice. We're professional. At Solve Magician yeah. on Instagram. At <laughs> yeah. Prop Dog Magic Hello. on Instagram. <laughs> Get out. Go on. Uh, right, okay. What's going on? What are you doing? Am I talking about the book, am I? What are we doing? Um, uh, I don't know. Are you going to do um, um, uh, cinnamon? I'm back. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to do it? Yeah, I can do cinnamon. Do cinnamon first, then we we'll do your book. I can try and remember yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Ultra Lucky Coin okay. is Penguin, and we can get it wholesale, so I'll get some in. Okay, so Ultra Lucky Coin, if you didn't hear that, we are going to be getting it in stock for you. Okay, right, it's fair in mind. Do you need anyone to do this with? We do, I can I've do. I've never seen it. Can you do it on me? Oh, yeah, do it, yeah. I can do it on you, oh, Jason. I don't know if Dave's seen it. So. Come, oh, on, come, come in the middle, Jason. Jason, I'll love this. I've got to go. <coughs> Wait, you know. Right then, so this is after. How long have I had to learn it? Don't, oh, there's no. No, it's probably. It's more of a. It's a presentation. It's a presentation. Right, no worries, so I've got some cards here, Jason, and they've all got different films on. Yeah. Big different films, people. Mm-hmm. Well, if you just lift off a portion of the deck and look at the card on the face. The yeah. Film, yeah, the film on the face. Have a good look. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Give it a nice shuffle. These up, yeah? Yep. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to read your mind and tell you which film you are now thinking of. But obviously, not just the name of the film, because that would be too easy, so I, 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 need to, I need to show you the pictures. Oh, so you can get a, you get a good image yeah. of the card that you've seen. Okay, so I'm just going to show them to you. So right, okay. Yeah, I've got a picture. You got the picture of the film that you. Yeah. I'm not sure I've seen this film. Is it quite violent? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Oh God! See, I wouldn't go and see a violent film. I'm going to be guessing now. Uh, yellow. I'm getting a lot of yellow. Mm, there's a lot yellow, of yellow. Violent. There's probably it's probably I'm trying the to think most of yellow. Got, okay, so that's about all I know. I'm trying to think of. <coughs> okay, I've got a picture of the film. Here we go. Kill Bill. Dun 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 dun. dun. There you go. Amazing. That is. Was that right? Was yeah, it, it was right. That's brilliant. There you go. That's, that's sentimental. Oh, no, there's not. I can write. But, but wait, there's more. There's oh, more. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, it's like a like film. Not only that. You just take the cards back, Jason, a second. Mm-hmm. I'm going to write a prediction down now. Oh, okay. It is like Phil Plus. You've shuffled them, haven't you? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, what are you see? You steal the cards one at a time, face up, mm -hmm. and just stop wherever you get that little magical urge. Just, just. Anywhere. Anywhere, wherever you feel. Anywhere. Anywhere. There? No, there. Are you sure? Yeah, I've okay. got the urge. Right, we've seen this. Take that, put that card there. This card there? Yep. Could have picked any of these. I could have picked any of those. Could have picked any of those. They're all different. My prediction is rear window. <laughs> of course it is. There's... <sighs> oh, What's the film you stopped on, Jason? Sake. Rear window. Wow. Hang on, That's hold good. Hold That's hold really hold good. And... Show them. Oh, sorry. We're there. Yeah, just so they can see. Rear window. That is really good. I think it's pretty That's good. That's really good. Rear window. Uh, brilliant, yeah, yeah, okay. great. Well awesome. done. So it takes that long to learn. Um, well, yeah, but you you know cards. Is it is it? It must be some sort of principle, card principle built into that that you know. It's similar to the Ryobo principle. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you could yeah, Ryobo does a similar. But right, okay. Trick. Because you know that principle, how easy is that for someone to just Very easy. buy it's and easier. do? It's easier than doing it with ordinary cards. Yeah. It's easier than doing it with ordinary really? cards. That's really. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm so that's, that. that's really good. The, tra the trailer for that trick is ridiculous, by the way, if you if you get to watch it. it is uh, are you trailer. wanting to do your book review as well? Just just very quickly before we uh, do that. Um, so, um, Wonder Pop, if you Oops, have sorry. Wonder Pop and uh, you have, uh, hang on, let's go into here. If you have these little balls, uh, or you'll know these balls, uh, quite a few people, uh, for whatever reason, have lost these. 
Mm. Okay, so Probably because they're round. I can understand why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thing is, if you do drop it on the floor at a gig and it rolls under a table, it's you're clear. not going to go under a table and get it, are you? So, um, yeah, we will be uh, supplying um, new ones of these. We've got all the acrylic balls in. Um, the whole size is extremely precise. I mean, uh, we had a, a three and a half mil drill bit, which is too small. We had a four mil, which is too big. So we've got to get a 3.8 millimeter drill. That'll arrive Monday. So as for Monday, these will be available to buy. So if you've lost yours, don't worry, we will be selling them. Um, and uh, I, I think I've probably had about 10 people so far asking. Yeah, them, yeah. So, I think um, I've, if I did one to pop, I think I definitely want a couple we'll of spares spare, when yeah. doing a gig. Yeah, regardless so you don't go crawling under yeah. tables. Yeah. 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 They'll be going on. Right, uh, okay. Uh, ready for Alex's book corner? Yes. Bookie. Alex's book corner. Huh? Where's the thing tune? Book corner. Uh, uh, look, she says book yeah, corner. where's the thing tune, Jason? I, I, no, I've got a wife and a child and a pregnant. Right. See. You've got a bump. got a child. Jason has a child, a bump, and a wife, obviously. Uh, so yeah, but so we're talking about right. we're talking and gigs. about uh, my gigs are. I tell you what, if my gigs get cancelled, yeah, I'll, I'll do I your can, jingle. I can zoom that one down. Like, there you go. Oh, okay. How's that sound? How about that? So it's uh, Giacomo Bettini's um, a new approach to magic with coins, and um, yeah, he basically it's it's all coins, um, and he starts off. You get a little DVD in the back, which yeah, is really yeah, useful. Yeah. Over there, so you can actually get to see what you're trying to. Um, emulate um, and the first bit of the book is basically all of his different slides he does a lot of sort of I, I'm guessing they're unique to him I haven't seen them before um, uh, but his system basically involves a lot of the classic right, palm which he teaches quite side. nicely can you see that I'm just gonna bring it center. yeah so he teaches the classic palm which he uses a lot and he uses his um, pinky fingers a lot. So there's a lot of coins on pinky uh, Wait, fingers camera going one. on. Camera one. A lot of things on pinky. Um, and he uses that to, to, to load and steal. Um, and it's remarkable, when you watch him do it, it's absolutely brilliant. Well, you were practicing some moves earlier, weren't you? And um, yeah, I mean, I, you can see, okay, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't but then perfect. You, 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 you literally just did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you haven't practiced yeah. it. So, um, but you could see every now and again you hit it and it was like, oh, wow, that was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you see it, when you see him do it, you, you get the idea of what you're trying to do. And it's not, it's practice. It is basically kind of practice. There's no sort of strength or, um, you know, anyone can do it. Um, I'm certain of that, um, but it's not as easy. He says a new approach to magic with coins. Would you say it's a new approach? Yeah, because he doesn't use, he's, he's not big movements. He's not fast. It's kind of it's slow deliberate. and all yeah and all very deliberate and he he holds coins out and because he's I think because he's using his pinky you get a lot you can show a lot of your hand mm. so it's almost like um, he uses the Malini subtlety and the Ramdi subtlety a lot um, so he can hold out and make things vanish even though they haven't vanished obviously um, so you really have to sort of watch him do it he was on uh, Penatello's uh, Foolus right and he did his version of um, Roth's Black Hole. And it was amazing. It was amazing. He didn't fool them, although they did admit to, you know, being lost in various spaces. But mm. obviously, they can backtrack it. Um, and it's beautiful. So, so, um, so really, really beautiful coin magic. And and yeah, I would say if you want to do close up, he he uses a table quite a lot. Um, so he has matrix in it, and the black hole obviously would use a table. And he uses a coin dropper and other things like that occasionally for steals. Um, but beautiful coin magic and definitely yeah if you want that sort of slow deliberate rather than the fast flurry stuff um that a lot of people do and if you're in self-isolation yeah you only need a coin yeah. and you're away if um, you're going to be in self-isolation stock up on books and then uh yeah read those books yeah. that you've been meaning to read for the last 10 years yeah Ooh. and it talks about his so he uses sort of micro movements he suggests so he kind of just moves very small he doesn't do big gestures um it is it's a oh, big, it's interesting it's a on the side yeah, yeah i was yeah, looking at yeah, the yeah. side as well I haven't. Just wonder what, what. I think that's just where the pictures are. I don't think that's. Oh, right. All, all the chapter headings or something. Oh, it's his name. <coughs> right. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Um, but he does a thing with a magnet here as well, which is quite nice. There's some quite nice presentations as well um, for coins across. Um, and his matrix. So it sort of demonstrates the matrix yeah, using. Let's go, onto the, uh, let's go into the super zoom. Oh, so there you go. So, so, yes, it will show the matrix and obviously cut out the card so you can see exactly what's going on underneath them. Um, so it's pretty easy to learn from, and especially with that DVD, because um, I do find if you're, not, if you're not quite sure what movement you're trying to emulate or how good it should look, mm. um, and when you're watching him, you realise just how good it can be. Um, mm. It's quite inspirational, really. Cool. Um, and what, what, again, <clears throat> I know I ask this a lot. What, what level are you starting out with that book, or are you going bo no. are you bo bo boing first? I'd bow bow first. Yeah. 
I'd yeah. buy both first just to get a feel of the coins because I don't do a lot of coin magic and I've just, it, it actually it got me quite interested in it again. But I kind of you know I do coins across or charming Chinese challenge and they're all those, those sort of standard moves um, mm -hmm. that everyone does a lot that you get from bobos and it's yep. a bit like doing a double lift a lot you know. Yeah. Um, I'm very good at that and then suddenly someone will come along and, and give you a new slide to do and you realise you haven't handled coins quite as much as you no. have, I have cards. So you really just want to get a bit of that sort of muscle memory going again. Okay, so it's um, not not for complete beginners, but not for complete beginners. But manageable. Cost wise, it's fifty nine ninety nine. It's a bit pricey. Is it worth it? Fifty nine ninety nine. I think if you're into your coin magic and you want to do close up coin magic, <laughs> other differently, than, differently, yeah, and really well, I'd definitely get it. If I was, yeah, I really Book, would. Books are becoming more and more expensive. Um, and people say that's a lot of money for a book, but you're forgetting we're, not. we're not a mass market here. You know, we don't have 44 million potential customers out there. So rather than you know having a book that you may pay 20 pound for if it's a cooking book or a travel book, and you're making money back by bulk sales, it doesn't work that way with the magic uh, books. It costs a lot of money to publish a magic book, especially one that's really nicely yeah. made like that. Uh, and you don't get what they call economies of scale. Economies of scale are basically mass production means lower prices. You don't get that in magic. So the more time someone puts into a book, um, the, the more money it's going to cost. And also, magic, I, mean, it, I mean, you can see that he. I mean, he's obviously figured out these slights of his and, and his handling of, of other people's tricks as well as his own. Um, that he must have been doing it for years. So you so know, a life's work. Yeah, him. it is yeah. a life's work of him jotting it down. Well, um, you've also got to take into consideration. Like with the Regal books, how many of those tricks were actually released at thirty-five pound a pop? Yeah, mm. um, yeah. And you're getting the whole compendium for yeah for the price of two, really. Yeah, so it really did get me could get me going and getting cracking the coins out again. Um, so I, I, I mean, stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Good. I really did. Thanks, Al. Awesome. Well worth, well worth it. Right. Know. Okay. So uh, let's catch up with uh, a couple of comments and then we'll move on to the next effect. So. Uh, Daniel Ricks, uh, what is Ben's favourite release as of late? Uh, ben who? Ben who, Daniel? Um, ain't no Ben here. My name's Ben. Bo 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 Bo's favourite release? Um, Peter Burkett says thank you. Uh, Otto says, um, I love the cough live segments from Japan. Maybe another time we can do the same, but from Sweden. Yeah, I, th I think Sweden, um, I, I think I need to go across and visit you, uh, Otto. I think we need to get a put bug trip. I'll go across and maybe we'll do the live from Sweden with Otto. How about that? And we can blow some stuff up. Can I come? Yeah, how about that? That's if I can. No, no my one, trip. I can work with it because yeah. I need to be. I can drive across there in my new, my new, my new motor. Mm. Yeah. Um, Finley says, um, uh, would like to come to the shop sometime. Um, when would you say the best time of year is to come? Um, Any time, Finley. <laughs> Not I mean, during Blackpool. Yeah, if you come on a Saturday, <laughs> it's basically going to be Mike here, uh, usually alone. If I'm here, I'll be down the workshop. So it depends. If you just want to come in uh, and, and see a load of stuff, I mean, it gets quite busy on a Saturday now. Um, and you can only make a Saturday. It's a good day to come. If you want to come and see the whole crowd, we're around Monday to uh, Friday from um, 9 in the morning till 5.30. So, uh, yeah, uh, any time when you've got a school holiday, do come on in. Yeah. Uh, you're always welcome, Finley. Easter hole soon. Yeah, um, Andy Tigley says, Cine is my favourite trick of the year so far. Uh, sentimental, that is. Uh, Graham Hickman says, Hi, guys. Uh, I had delivered from you flair, brilliant bit of kit, and really well made, and I'm a pyro freak, so it wasn't hard for me to buy this. <laughs> um, a fire. We love uh, that. I'm a bit of a pyro freak uh, as well, Graham, so I, I like to blow a lot of stuff up too. Uh, Daniel Rick says, uh, Alex's Book Corner. Uh, Andy Tingley, um, be careful with Wonder Pop. Mine leaked all over my cards and ruined them. Put a separate Ziploc bag, please. Yeah, I mean, they are, you know, cheap bubble... Uh, so canisters. Right yeah, cheap bubble canisters. Uh, anything put on them will crush them, so yeah. Um, I mean, you could make your own one, but then... Yeah, if you buy one from another shop, by the way, it is going to leak. The reason being, uh, we remake these, so inside of here, um, there's a disc, and they used a white silicone sealant like you use in a bathroom uh, to stick it in, and that stuff doesn't stick to the plastic. The plastic is PTFE plastic, it doesn't stick to it very well, and when you put a soapy liquid in it, that does tend to leak out. If you buy it from Prop Dog, that won't leak out because we take that one out and we put it back in with a heat glue gun which does stick amazingly well to this stuff and we strengthen it up and on the inside over here 
we redo this as well because they've done the same they stuck it under that and it came out um, but yeah it is still a fairly cheapest plastic container so anything on there will squash it but um, hopefully uh, Andy you didn't buy yours uh, from us and it was leaking for something uh, some other reason oh the other thing as well we give you some little magic bubble labels to put on top because uh, this is just paper and the moment that gets wet which it will do especially with uh, soapy liquid that's going to fall off yeah so we do pimp it out for you and we don't charge you a penny extra for all the work so uh, that's the uh, the prop dog way uh, right Stephen Lovering says good afternoon all afternoon to I you see. Stephen um, he says from sunny Devon it's sunny in there is it I haven't even seen outside today um, <laughs> no, don't lie. Rita says hello from Australia uh, hello Rita I hope you're well over there and uh, I hope you're um, you're, you're staying virus free out of there mm. uh, Scott says oh, hi Dave I have a really cheeky question a few months back I got sucker punch and I'm not getting any good reactions from them. Uh, they're still uh, in good condition, so I was wondering if maybe I could bring them back and stain them for something else. I understand if not. Yeah, no problem at all, Scott. As long as it's in new condition with the packaging and everything, bring it back and we'll sort you out. Uh, Otto says £60 for a nicely published book with a DVD isn't really expensive, in my honest opinion. Um, yeah, uh, well, with the DVD as well, I forgot about the DVD. Uh, as with us as well, but yeah, some people it is a lot of money, uh, and you can see why. Uh, Mike Main, hello Mike, I hope all is well. Uh, Mike says, uh, at Gatwick North en route to Thailand, you lucky bugger. And he's um, got you're going to miss the first Grand Prix, it's on this weekend, mate, you're going to miss it. Um, Mike's a big Grand Prix fan, as am I. Uh, enjoying the show, by the way. Um, uh, taking Maximum Entertainment 2 to study on the beach uh, mm. and the plane. Uh, good call, my friend. Uh, Mark Calderwood. Huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike Holloway says, one to pop his ace. Um, Adam Wayne Evans, uh, I'm loving Legend Cups, the old uh, looking ones, love it. Any giveaways? Uh, <laughs> fancy that. And uh, Adam Wayne Evans asking for this giveaway. There is one giveaway at the end, and uh, Adam. And so uh, Andy Tigley says, uh, I only buy from Prop Dog now, and I have uh, and no, I bought last year somewhere else. And no, I, oh, right, it's a no, I Wonderful. bought last year somewhere else. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. That's why it leaked. You see, that's why we do what we do to it because they are really badly stuck inside. I mean, yeah, it's a shame, but it's a brilliant product. But rest assured, from us, it will be fine. Uh, FD says bought pin card from you this week. Great reactions. Yeah, we do like it. It's great. Um, Simon O'Neill says uh, hi guys. Nice easy watch. Um, have an easy bend two pences. Um, yeah, my wrists are hurting. Laugh out loud. Right, Simon, if you listen. You can't hear anything. Hey, open the door. Open the door. The door. You might just hear something. Oh, you can hear that. Hear that little, that. yeah, that little rattling sound. That is the Easy Ben Two Peaks. So, um, yeah, on Wednesday, I spent about what six hours going around all the different banks, getting tons and tons of coins. And then we sorted them all out, and we took out all the uh, the steel ones. We put them all on the kiln. Uh, they spent a day in the kiln. And today I've been acid washing them, so my hands are all acidy, so um, they're all acid washed, and now they're in a tumbler. They'll be tumbling now in a, a little tumbling polisher until Monday, and on Monday we'll open them up, and as long as they're nice and clean, we can bag them up and they'll be ready for Monday. So uh, fingers crossed Monday, if not, it may take another day. Happy day. But not long, Simon, not long. <coughs> um, Scott says, brilliant, thanks, mate, and uh, my pleasure, buddy. And Grand Prix has been called. No! Australian Grand Prix is cancelled! I didn't know that. I was really looking oh, forward to watching that this weekend. Are Australia cancelling all their big sporting events oh. as well, like America and stuff, aren't You they? can have your own Grand Prix and your new car. Because I know they were saying, I think it was a Bahrain Grand Prix, uh, I think they were saying that and the Chinese, they're going to do it with closed doors, but oh, cancelling the whole thing, bugger. Uh, right, George says, uh, Woo from Beltsfield in Maryland, home of the closed schools. <laughs> Hello, wow. Maryland. Wow, everything's closing down. Charlie Robinson, did Jason find the unique? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't really looking for Two you. Days, it never was, Bobby. It was all a big joke. It was all a big joke for the amount yeah. of you that thought it was real. I know, unbelievable. No, it was just sorting the Easy Bend coins out. So we buy a lot of coins and we separate all the steel ones and we take them all back to the bank and just process the um, uh, the uh, copper nickel ones. But um, yeah, we thought we'd make a funny video. We thought it was hilarious. But so many people thought we really were looking <sighs> it for coins. It was so heartfelt, nickel. the amount of genuine yeah, concern for me. Um, I, think, I think I think you could almost deserve an Oscar for your performance. It was, yeah, so it was a very good know, performance. You know, Jack of all trades. Well, Hold on, no, that doesn't work. See, there's, there's <laughs> another video from last year when we were doing them when I had two little um, uh, peas from a three shell game and I put them on top of a big pile of two peas and the comment was two p or not two p and I thought it was quite funny. Yours was funnier, but. Yeah. Right, okay, <laughs> let's get on. Uh, let's talk about Puzzle Man. Oh, yeah, let's, because it's great. Um, and I haven't seen it. Puzzle Man is lovely. Let's zoom now, in on this. I'm not going to show this to its full extent, and I'll explain why. 
But I am going to show right. you something. We're zooming in on that camera. Puzzle Man. Uh, right, so Puzzle Man uses a faux Lego box, okay? Um, Hang on, right, stop there. So this is getting a bit jumpy on this camera. Ooh. So is it caught up? Yeah, it's caught up. Okay, it's caught yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah. it's a faux Lego box. Uh, the premise of this being that you you have a Lego figure, and I don't have any Lego at home, which is why I've not brought any in. Uh, you have a Lego figure that's broken apart, okay. and then you push the box back together, and then you click your fingers, you open the box, and the Lego man is restored, and you can then give it out. Right. Well, that's how I would perform it anyway. But just to show you just how nice this is, you can see uh, an empty box. Can they see that? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to push it into the Lego container, and when I was young, I didn't play with Lego uh, very much because... It's quite small, um, but I uh, I much preferred oh. jelly beans. There you go. Jelly bean, one for you, Dave. Thank you very much. One for you. And cool, I haven't had jelly beans in years. Eh? One Thank for you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Right, mate. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Um, but it's, it's great. It's a it's a themed draw box. And if, you, if I was to perform it like I've just mentioned with the Lego Man, my idea would be to buy several Lego Man in bulk and, and have one broken up. But at the start... We were talking about last week when I'm at a kid's gig and I'm set up ready to go before anyone's arrived. So I've got the little birthday boy or girl just bored, running around, you know, <laughs> just waiting for their friends to arrive. This is a really nice thing to get because they all, they all like Lego. They all know, they all know the brand. Um, so, call me before what you're getting here. You're getting a draw box. So you get this and this and yeah. that's it? Mm hmm Okay, it's a little pricey for what it is then. It is, but it's yeah. nicely made. It's twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah. So it is nicely made, really nicely made, and they can open that themselves. Mm -hmm. um, that's the move. That's done now. Yeah, yeah. but for fifty nine ninety nine, you could get you could get. Cool. That? That's it. That's that's it. What we're gonna do? Pop it in. That quick. It's great. Good. I gave this to Mel, uh, our prop dog Mel, mm -hmm. empty, mm -hmm. and she put it in and was like, "What? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's supposed to happen." And I went, well, that's good then, because you're not noticing anything when you're turning it around and pushing it in, and obviously it's, it's basically a draw box. Cool. But really nice thing. If you do what I do, um, there's value in this, the fact you're giving out a Lego man, the kid, or the, the child will like that, and uh, it's a nice thing. Nice thing. Right. Uh, good. Should we talk about my favourite thing in the uh, world? Let me just catch up with a few things, and then we'll talk about your favourite thing in the world. Uh, so, Frank Valenti said yeah. Disney World and Disneyland will be closed until the end of March. Oh, Whoa! That is awful, isn't it? Man, the world's falling apart. Only kids' Christmas presents are ruined. All those though. preppers out there, all those preppers all around the world are going, Yes, at last! I knew this was going to happen! Well, hopefully, <sighs> hopefully it will contain it, won't it? Yeah. We do. We obviously. We you know. We we've had a bit of a joke with Luca being in Japan, but we do wish you all the best because it's yeah. not nice. Stay healthy, folks. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Graham Hickman says I'm new to buying a prop dog as well as uh, as well now. My number one to go to off the Saints. Come on, you red. <laughs> I spoke to Graham yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go well for the weekend. Um, uh, I was just down in Southampton. Graham's Graham's from Southampton. We spoke on yeah. the phone yesterday. I, I ended up in the middle of the Newcastle fans that I wasn't I wasn't planning on. Mark Kavanagh says, "Do you have any hand cleaner? Any toilet rolls? Yeah, we have hand cleaner and toilet rolls. So yeah, <laughs> we've got a big stash of toilet rolls. Not purposely, but we just buy in bulk from bookers. So we've got big big things. Annoyingly, of Sans Mines haven't done many books, have they? Just in case we ran out of toilet rolls. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know how to and start selling toilet rolls for 50 quid a roll because yeah. everyone else is on that. Yeah. Toilet um, roll on the website. Rita no, because we sell out. Rita says, yes, I've cancelled all events of uh, people over 500 attending. Uh, uh, Daniel Ricks, uh, did you guys find the guys selling the spider IT wristbands? If not, I've seen them around um, and could send you the info. It's all right, Daniel. Uh, Mike uh, knows him and he's going to put us in touch. Of course he does. Um, yeah. Of course Mike knows so, him. Tony says, Grand Prix expected to start at the end of May now. End of May? I've bloody well waited for like four months. Well, yeah, four months. Does that mean, but will it start with the first Grand Prix or will it, they start with uh, the first Grand Prix? They won't, I, I don't know. They can't fit one in. Gonna, there's 21 races a year. Yeah. There's How no way they can fit them all in. They'll just have to cancel, I guess. A lot of people would have flown out to Australia just yeah, to watch yeah, the right. damn thing. Oh, oh, that's bad, isn't it? Mm. Richard Doyle. Um, why did you give me this? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Doyle says, um, Who's your favourite coin? Uh, ma 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 Macket? Macket? Maker, coin maker, corn magician, maker magician, whatever. 
I think Eric Cross has got some good stuff. If you mean coin maker, um, probably um, Andy Hurst, I would say. Um, Kenny Cadabra says, uh, Hi Dave, just finished a mini gig, office party, used impossible card balance with my modification. Um, oh yeah, Kenny had a modification with yeah. the, uh, the card, put on a clear card. Yeah, yeah. look good. Yeah. I uh, can't wait to uh, find out how uh, to send you uh, an image on live. Send it to Jason in the week, go prop bog. Um, yeah, I, I briefly saw the email, um, but so Jason deals with most of the emails. I haven't had a shot. I've got a big pile of emails that I'm yet to check into. I've just been so busy. Uh, Frank Valenti uh, says, uh, maybe find a Lego man that looks like a magician Lego man. Yeah, yeah cool. good idea. Uh, Andy Tigley says, can we see Daryl Noughts? Do we have Daryl Noughts? Uh, I don't know I what, don't know what that means. I don't know what that uh, means. Don't know what that is, Andy, I'm afraid. Uh, Paul Sunderland, um, send a free toilet roll with every Sands Mines product. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might mean cross thoughts. Cross thoughts? But we're out of stock. We're getting uh, more Monday. Okay. Um, Marty Hunt says, what's your best affordable trick that you can recommend for a magician in training? Uh, best affordable trick. What's, uh, what's affordable? Raw Road Card Magic and Bobo. Um, but they're not really tricks. Um, uh, well, the one you damned earlier was... was Red Prediction. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, prediction. I think that's more really than affordable, great, but uh, I don't know what yeah, affordable very, means. Yeah, very affordable. Uh, you know, something uh, like, yeah, to yeah. me, something like, tur well, if we're going yeah. for under £30, I think Turbo Stick's great. You learn a lot about performance well, with it. A book of self-working card tricks, if you're sort of learning, you oh, yeah. the presentation a bit yeah. nailed, don't you, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil Plus. Dean Odell Phil says, Plus. can you tell me the difference between Phil Plus and Phoenix Double Decker? Are there just more cards in the DD? Um, yeah, so they are different. They're both thin <coughs> cards, uh, but yeah, Phil Plus is very different in that it's one... F well, I shouldn't really say. Uh, yeah, I, it's different. Yeah, I have to say it is different. So, uh, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, but I can't really say too much. It's not fair to me to give the trick away. Uh, Sean sure, Mann, um, yeah, don't you just need... Uh, so don't need to pull, just use the product. Sure, man, don't need to pull, just use the product. I don't know what that means. No, I don't know what that means, unfortunately. Sean, um, uh, I think you misspelled something there. Uh, Michael McCarthy says, any Dems on Daryl products? Uh, we've done a few of them, uh, Michael. Um, and uh, we did some last week as well, I believe. Uh, Otto says, Jason, you should have given Dave some Carolina Reaper jelly beans to crank them back. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? I will eat Carolina Reaper all day long. No problem at all. It may hurt. I may scream, but I'll eat them. Um, and Walter McGurn says, uh, books. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, we are now talking about uh, the amazing CubeTube, which Jason is very, very excited about. So we saw John Allen at Blackpool um, just before the convention started, and he showed us this, and uh, we all loved it. Uh, we all saw it, and we thought, this is great. Uh, really good little thing. So... Um, yeah, when we came back from Blackpool, um, John got in contact and said, look, I'm going to be wholesaling it. Do you guys want it? And we were like, yes. Bleep, yes. So, um, yeah, we've got them uh, coming in. When are they? Uh, probably the end of next week. Probably the end of next week or the beginning the of the end week, of next after. week Yeah, but John was very kind enough. He had one left that he sent us so we can talk about it in the uh, the live yeah. show. And, um, yeah, Jason is in love with it. So, right, so, um, yeah. I'm in love with jelly beans. I you will... give me jelly beans, you talk about this. I'm going to caveat. Did it sell out with Blackpool? Yes. Yeah. Did, didn't you they, give me yeah. jelly beans, you talk about that. Uh, jelly beans oh, are on my desk. Yeah. Right. Um, you talk, I'm going. Fine. Well, no. <sighs> okay. Oh, what? Um, oh, I just want to I talk to you about it. jelly beans. It's, 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 okay. I don't eat sweets, and you put these in Alex, my mouth, and now Alex I think it's sugar. Now I'm getting buzzy. There you go. I need more. Um, right, so I'm going to caveat this by saying this is this is my one, um, and I'm buying another one. I'm buying two of them. Both of them. I'm buying two of them. Okay. You didn't uh, buy that one. Not yet, but it's off. It's not on the stock. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, I'm going to show you a trick, um, and I'm then going to. So, are you done? Good. Are I'm you? Gonna, what, yeah. What we're going to do? I'm... <laughs> this is serious. This is really good. Right, I'm going to show you a trick, and I'm going to attempt to show you a trick. This came in yesterday, I opened it today. This is so good, so good. You saw this at Blackpool and thought it was mm. good, and you yeah. don't do Rubik's Cube magic. Nope. Right, so I'm going to mix this uh, this cube up, like this, and uh, really I'm going to give it a good mix. Go uh, a bit of a zoom. Okay, um, fine. So that is going to be my prediction, for want of a better word. Uh, I'm going to put that there. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do, you're going to mix this cube up. Okay. But to save you being influenced by what I've done, mm -hmm. I'm going to cover it up. Okay. So now that's isolated from both of us. I can't change that. 
Right now, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, mix okay. it up. So they say it needs sort of roughly 20, 20 odd twists to to legitimately mix up. Um, you can see I don't do Rubik's You're, you're a natural. Yeah, you see I don't do this. So I, you, yeah, you I, I did when I was 10 years old. You can anymore. stop whenever you like. Okay. Are you happy with that? Mm hmm. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to take the cubes and you will see that, weirdly, Dave. Ooh. One side matches, okay, but not mm -hmm. just one side. We've got two sides. I don't know where the mm -hmm. camera is. Yep. Three sides. Yeah. Four sides. Yeah. Five sides. Yeah. And all six sides complete match. That is um, amazing. This is cube tube. Now, what you can do now is, do you want to do super close up for this? And then I'll talk super about why this is up. good. We'll do super, super close, zoom. super close up. So you That's can then zoom. take a, the cube that the spectator has mixed and. Just with a sh with a shake, you can start to fix what you've done um, because most people recognise one specific solution, and hopefully you guys will see that in a moment. Well, Jason, you have been practicing, haven't you? You have we been have practicing. A self cube, um, cube tube is the best thing you can buy if you own Venom Cube. I've said it. If you own Venom Cube, if you own Rubicon, if you own Henry Harris's Rubik's Dream Original, this is wonderful. It's so good. Okay, I I've been talking to Mila sick to the back teeth of this because I've been banging on about it since yes since well, since yesterday since I watched the video. This um, isn't a sales pitch, by the way. Yeah, we 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 tell if it was crap, we'd say it's crap. You yeah, know we will. Yeah, we're honest. Yeah. Jason it's, really does like it. It's much. brilliant. I'll give you three reasons why it's brilliant. The first reason for me, as a performer of kids' magic, I have often, I'm often in situations where children are sat on the floor in front of me and I've got a table that's probably about as high as this desk. So they can't see a Rubik's Cube if I put it on the table. Right. Okay, so this is quite a, quite a sort of uh, material-like, but when that's elevated like that, they can then see that. Mm -hmm. Okay? This being used legitimately to cover uh, a prediction is genius mm -hmm. because this does all the dirty work for you if you understand what those products are and what they do. Yeah. Um, it, it can be shown. Have yeah. you only even looked at it? Have you yeah, really? it's a gimmick. Uh, yeah, it's a gimmick, exactly. So, and then and then my favorite thing about it and the one thing that I always struggled with with Venom Cube and Venom Cube was most people's trick of last year. The one downside for me was that you couldn't really show the cube that you're holding beforehand yeah so there i can mix that cube into my preferred orientation for want of a better word and then with the addition of the cover get it completely ready to do venom cube and then just the way that you collect the cubes off the top of the plinth you're one step ahead yeah. already it's phenomenal with rubik's dream which is a, a different um a different product just, just, it's just brilliant. Then the reason I'm going to buy two, I don't really want to say because people start doing it. But I'm, I'm going to buy two to have two of these, and then I, you know, I can take this off for the first phase, mm -hmm. put it under my table, and then come back on with another one later. Do it again. And then the kid can mix it up, and I can just go, boom, and solve it yeah. under the under the thing. Alex came up with the idea of having two and doing a, a cubes across where they look the same. Yeah, yeah. And then you have them going from side to side, and then you mix one up, and it Cube ends up over here. For them. <laughs> well, I consider it. I consider it. We've got routines of on. I consider it, Alex. I would just say that Jason thought I was. So Jason showed you this, and you thought I was taking the mick with my reaction. Yeah, yeah. You? You're going. Are you serious? And I was going. Yeah, I was. I was and genuinely that, amazed, and you thought I was just. That, uh, and that's the packet, so you can carry it to a gig like that. <laughs> I can't. There's nothing well bad about it. Well done, John Allen. There's nothing awesome bad about John it. Awesome, John Allen. And the best thing is, it's only forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant. I, I, Cheaper than a book. I'm, I've I've avoided all. Gimmick cubes until now, and I, uh, Jason, uh, watching Jason do that earlier today convinced me that actually I'm buying two of them. You, th this good. comes off, it's been thought through, so you can have that secure in there, and that holds together. It does when I put it together properly, um, but that goes in there like that. And the packaging, oh, yeah, oh the packaging's clever, packaging's cool. I mean, you take that off, and it just unfurls, and you get your it's just brilliant. It's brilliant. Well awesome. done, John, right. Well, I don't think we've got enough in. We've got 12, but honestly, I know a lot of people that do cubes. You should all get this. 100% you should all get this. You'll find a use for it. It's great. Buy it. It's great. We don't have them in yet. Uh, right, okay. So, um, 
Last Brilliant. of the comments, we'll do our giveaway and that'll be it for the weekend. So, uh, <coughs> right. Uh, Adam um, Wayne Evans is, um, oh, he's given the guy uh, guy's email for the guy with the spider band. Um, uh, Mark uh, Mark Patrick Kavanagh right, says, um, ask Alex, has he got any invisible thread? Laugh out loud. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was an invisible oh, invisible not thread bad, uh, uh, demo I did at my local magic out. club. Um, yes, yes, enough said. All right, Andy Tigley says, um, what are you going to do, Jace? <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Randy says, be careful, Dave, he's coughing. <laughs> James Chin, um, Jason, is that Rubicon? No, it's not Rubicon, it's Venom Cube. I do own Rubicon. Mm. He does have routine for Rubicon, doesn't he? Yeah, does yeah, he yeah, 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 he covers it for Rubicon as well, okay. so it's right. if workable Rubicon. Um, I have every Rubik's Cube thing we sell, so if you have any, if you want any questions about Rubik's Cube, ask me. Chris Kelly says, uh, does it rely upon your existing gimmick with Venom Cube, uh, sorry, with Venom, or does it have its own? It's it's a uh, partner to the existing Venom Cube gimmick. Yeah, yeah, Venom Cube. You need both you need, in order you to. You need the Venom Cube yeah. to do it. Yeah. So Michael Patterson says, "Hey guys, finally caught alive, and uh, great to have you joining us, Michael." But you're late. Um, we're nearly finished. Uh, Ken says, uh, "Brilliant service for in the week for thumbs uh, thumbs up to the team." Kiss kiss. Uh, Tom Cocker says, uh, "So the tube applies the extra gimmick gimmicks, meaning the second cube doesn't need setting beforehand. Spectator can genuinely inspect and touch both cubes." Correct. Charlie Robinson, do you need to know how to solve a Rubik's cube for cube tube? Well, uh, Dean, uh, who used to work here, who did Rubik's cube magic all the time, couldn't solve a Rubik's cube. No, that's true. So no. Yeah. It does help. The doing the routine I've just done, you need to be able to reset a cube. I'll be totally transparent. Yeah, but not in front of the crowd. No, 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 yeah, not yeah, in front yeah, of them. Yeah, no. yeah, you haven't got to solve no, them. So you can no, get, in your you own get, time. You can get the, uh, the app on your iPhone, which is uh, uh, a cube solving app, which is uh, really useful. Sort of, I would um, advise learning it, though, news. because you don't ever want to be stuck. At, not that you would in that routine, but you solving a Rubik's Cube is impressive. I can do it in about a minute 20. So that's not that's mm. not quick, uh, unless I use um, <laughs> RD Insta. Uh, that isn't quick, but people are still impressed if you stand there talking to them and you solve the cube. Yeah. You know, at the end, of, even if you mess up. Um, it's not happened to me yet. Can't be Touch that. Words. It's not that hard, is it? I don't think so. I learned from Stephen Brundage. I was I did it in a day. It took five minutes, but I was doing the process in a day. Yeah. Um, if you buy the cube three, that's that's how. Well, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and learn how to do the Rubik's cube for next week. Okay. You can time me. Oh, there you go. You got one week. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Are you planning on self isolating? Well, no, I'll, only, only because I want to buy this, and actually thinking about it, I might as well learn the cues. So. I'm, I'm a bit uh, annoyed, really, because everyone's going to start doing it. But it's <laughs> it's great. It's really good. Walter says, I uh, hope you all have a great night, uh, weekend and week. Uh, thank you. Uh, James Chin says, the one-handed solves looks awesome. Where can I learn that? I have Venom Cube, but... Uh, can I say? Yeah. That's uh, that's Greg Wilson's Rubicon Solve. Yes. There you go. So you need to buy Rubicon or find somebody who's got Rubicon. That's who my favourite one-handed Solve. Yeah. I just think it, because it's, it looks cause amazing, it's farther it? away from completion, it looks more legitimate. When opinion. Rubicon first came out, I bought okay. the day it came out from you guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, when it first came out and everyone was watching the trailer and Greg sitting there doing it behind his back, yeah. everyone was like, "Oh my god, it's a self-solving cube." Uh, they really did think it was solving on its own. Uh, yeah, amazing. Which do exist, by the way. I, I posted a link uh, yeah, a few yeah. weeks ago about. Yeah, it's annoying cube. that, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. the fact it becomes common knowledge, it's not. It's not impressive. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's do our, our little giveaway. So our giveaway today is going to be a book, and there's a reason it's going to be a giveaway. Be uh, we're going yep. to go up on the close-up camera to show you why. And um, the culprit. Yes. Oh, yeah. So here comes the culprit <laughs> himself. So Bobo, yeah, Bobo took a liking to this book, and uh, hang on, it's she not can now do on ambitious zoom. card. Um, it's not showing up on the Zoom. Bear with me two seconds, guys. So, um, right, there we go. Should, should I show the, the yeah. massive extent to the damage? Yeah. There? So uh, yeah, so Bobo decided to get over here, look, and start chewing away the edge of the book, and it's not mm, a lot of damage. Girl. It's a tight. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's not a lot of damage, but it's enough damage that I can't really sell it as a new book. So we thought, rather than you know. Well, what a brilliant to book. To be honest, I, think, I, I actually think if we sent that to someone, I think the chances are most people wouldn't complain. And they'd I know, go, oh, I know. Fair, fair dues, that's just yeah, what happens when you send I, a book. I, I, I wouldn't, but I knowing that, that we, but sending yeah. it like that, you feel yeah. a little bit We like, could offer a discount on it, but I would rather say, well, yeah. let's just do it as a giveaway. It's yeah. a great book. Um, what's the price of it normally? Uh, that's a good Where's question. Mina? I don't know. Not, I don't know. Mina, oh. Maybe yeah. maybe thirty or forty quid. Yeah, yeah. But I think about I think it's about forty quid. But um, you know, one of you guys can win this. So uh, how should we do this? Um, Just so you know, as well, Alex has been um, strategically placing books that he wants discounted near right. Bobo's cage. Well, I tell you what, here's he a bugs, way. He bugs, he bugs, <laughs> he bugs. <laughs> he bugs. <laughs> right, I tell you what, what we're going to do, Jason. What we're going to do? Yeah, I'm going to oh, put oh, oh. a playing card in this book 
at a certain page number, just to make sure they're numbered. They are, oh, they're numbered, good. right? Okay, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to put a playing card in here, okay, and nah. when I say, not yet, but when I say for one minute, I'll let you guys mm. write a page number, and the page numbers go up to... Nine uh, million. Okay. Well, 144, okay, so 144. So, uh, yeah, one number each. Uh, if, if, if somebody picks a number and you're on that number or closest, but if you've written another number afterwards, then we're going to disqualify you. Okay, so one number each per person. Okay, and after one minute, I'll, I'll go through and then whoever's closest to it or gets it dead on is the winner. If two people get it, it's the first one that comes up on our screen, okay? So I will show you this. And Eddie Grant, that's your number now. You've given it already, but don't, don't do any more. Surely right, it's, so. a, it's an ambitious card. It'll be the one on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. So I'm going to put this card in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it in there. Right. I don't even know what page this is in. I didn't even look at the page. Um, so uh, let's go for one minute, uh, starting from now. So now, guys, put, uh, write in your page number, 1 to 144. Whoever is on that page or closest will win the ambitious omnibus. How much did you say it was? I think, it's about, I think it's about 40. Oh, I've got okay. a double check, so we number If one. nobody gets the page, can I have it? No, it's going to be the closest person to it. You are a little book destroyer. Yeah, you. Pain. Destroying our books. If you find you Alex's doing? favourite books in Bowman's Cage over the weekend. Yeah, you are doing? I've been, I've, been, I've been putting, um, yeah, sunflower seeds in all the books. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off it. How long have we got? 24 seconds left. How much is that, Al? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's exactly what you did to this book, Bowman. Do you know what? It is fifty-four ninety nine. Fifty-four ninety nine. You guys are getting a bargain. It's brand new. It's been go. out two weeks. That? It's been out two weeks. So here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys. No more pages. No more pages come through. Uh, so that's the last one. Right. Let's have a look. See what the last. I mean, page we have to do a close up, don't we? No cheating. Uh, oh yeah. Let's do. Let's do a close up. Coming up. So uh, let's let's zoom in. Um, it's, it's it hasn't come to the top. No. Very disappointing. I have no idea which number. I just literally slid it in somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, hold on, I think. Hey! There we go. So, oh, page 27. 27. Oh, sure. Well, well, there you go. How do we know it's not page 26? Because it's on page 27. Oh, sorry. All right, okay. That's a good call. <coughs> but has somebody got it dead on? Right, page 27. Let's have a look. You get the card as well. <laughs> so, let's ask. Go on to here, and then anyone who wants to have a look and see what we're doing. Um, in fact, Dilia, just put the iPhone camera up. Actually, put the iPhone onto here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna onto do some screen. maths. See who's closest. Mm. On the screen, that's it. In fact, you just take it out the, out the thing. I'll, I'll look through and let's just see who's on. Just take it off. Yeah. Oh, it's not enough anymore. There you go, mate. There you You're go. on it. All right. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit more then. There you go. Tilt, yeah. it, tilt it a bit more. Right. So uh, let's see who's nearest. So where do they all start? Wow, there's a lot of... Start shouting them out and I'll We've got I'll that the internal mass. view going now. Right, here we go. go. Right, so uh, Michael Oh, it was a 30. There was someone in the 30s there. It was close. Um, 42. 16. 16. 27, 43. 72. 72. 29. Dave Bonnie's the closest so far. 29, wow. Two off, Dave eh, Bonnie. Two off, yeah, that's going to be hard to beat. Right, Danny Marsh, I did say one answer only, and even if you've got it dead on, you'd have been disqualified, Danny. I said one only. So, oh, 27, so Zacho Black is, at the moment is dead on. What happens if there's two? Uh, oh, did he say that afterwards? Yeah, I think, well. Uh, so uh, more, more, how do we know? We don't. Yeah, I did say one more. I oh, know two pages. Uh, uh, that me? Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, Zach, uh, you're uh, too late on that cheeky, one, I'm afraid. Cheeky, cheeky. Right, so, um, at the moment, it's Dave Bonney. Um, uh, just checking Dave Bonney only said one answer, because if you said two, you'd be disqualified. Well, we also um, we also won't send it till Monday, so we'll do yeah. we'll do a steward's inquiry. Dave's got time now, the Grand Prix's not on. Yep, okay, uh, so it looks like, yep, Dave Bonney, congratulations, my friend. It looks like you are the winner. Um, very good. Yeah, congratulations. What a book. Um, what a book. Yeah, great book. And sorry, sorry about the damage, but um, yeah, you've got Bobo to thank for that. 
So, uh, right, okay, well, that is it then for us for another week. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Um, stay healthy, wash your hands a lot, uh, stay away from big crowds, and hopefully uh, next week uh, you'll all join us healthy and fit and fighting well. Yeah, get home yeah. safe, Luke. Yeah. Right, have a good weekend, everybody, and we will see you next week. Bye.